everyone cheats. Sometimes it's cutting in line. Other times it's moving a piece on a chessboard when your opponent isn't looking. It's robbery. I know, but we gotta get these last exams up. We have two days to give Mr. Brown his money, and I don't want to know what he's like if we don't meet his expectations. Besides, it's, it's a busy week. It's midterms. I know, right? I rarely have any time to study for my own exams. Good thing I don't have to worry about that anymore. You know we're not supposed to be using our own products. It's just one of our rules. We need as much money as we can get. Since when is one exam going to make a big difference? I knew you'd understand. Thanks, Graham. We're not going to make enough money in time. Joe's getting more tests. He'll be here soon. Why can't we just sell chem tests again? Because another one of Mr. Brown's groups has the rights to them, and I'm not negotiating with him again. Not after he sent that kid to the hospital. Same with math? Yep. That's where all the money is. And what are we left with? Biology? We make a little dough from that. But women's studies? Who needs to cheat to pass those classes? Hey, here comes Joe. Greetings, Earthlings. Hey man, what's up? So we got any more tests? Unfortunately, I bring tidings of bad news. The Biology 107 midterm has been moved up to next week, which means that we won't have access to the exams in time. We're f There's no way we can make enough money. What are we going to do, Graham? Well, first we'll sell the tests we do have. And I'll think of something. Joe, here's Mr. Brown's cut. I know he's screwing us over right now, but try and be nice when you deliver it to him tomorrow. Well, I need to get to class, so I'll catch up with you guys later, okay? So does anyone know the answer? That's correct, David. What? I said nice work. You got the answer correct. Uh, Miss C? Catherine, David. Catherine. Look, I'm sorry I'm falling asleep, but you don't have to call me out in front of the whole class. David, you don't have to explain to me while you're tired. I know all about it. Uh, excuse me? Oh, don't pretend like you forgot about our little meeting we had last night. I know I didn't. All right, class, you're dismissed early today. David, would you mind staying after, please? Hey, uh, Catherine? It's Miss C, and I said, class is dismissed. That was interesting. So what did you want me to stay after for? What are you talking about? Well, maybe we could have an actual meeting to make things more convincing? No, David. Don't forget our agreement. Just keep on pretending to cover up our fake relationship. Class definitely suspects something. Right, okay. Pretend to cover it up. No problem. Have a good night, Miss C. Think David and his teacher have done anything? I don't want to talk about that, Graham. Hi. Are you Graham Sullivan? Uh, yes. Uh, are you in need of tutoring assistance? I suggest you look at the information on our flyers we've posted around campus. Cut the sh I need a test. An important test. A hard to get test. Keep your voice down. What class is it for? Differential equations. Look, I don't think so. We don't actually steal the product. That's not how this works. Besides, we're not going to stick our necks out for one student. Who said it was just for me? My entire floor is in the class, and we're willing to pay two grand. But we need it by tomorrow night. We need to get this test. It's the only way we're going to pay Mr. Brown by Friday. We aren't thieves, Graham. Yeah, for once I agree with Kelsey on this. This is way more dangerous than just dealing. Well, how do you suggest we get the money? I hear the lottery is a good investment. David, you're the most helpful person I know. 
Thank you, Kelsey. Look, guys, we need to get this test. There's no way around it. So what? Should we just walk in, grab it, while someone's distracting the professor with stimulating conversation? <sighs> Freaking mega blocks. You're done. Oh, okay, let's hear your brilliant idea. Why are we getting from the TAs like always? This professor doesn't have a TA. So why don't we just break into his office and steal it? His office is in one of the buildings that actually locks up at night. And besides, campus security patrols the area. Maybe we should just ask the professor for it. You never know. Let's just call that plan B. <laughs> plan B. But what, what if we had someone else do it for us? Then we'd have to pay them and we wouldn't have enough for Mr. Brown. Or what about something along the lines of us all getting like modified Mini Coopers? Yeah, and then we could have chases through the hallways and then through the city. You guys aren't funny. Stop messing around. <clears throat> look, look over here. What? I know exactly what we can do. David, I need you to pick up a shift tomorrow with campus security. Wait, I thought you quit that. Nope. Would have if Mr. Brown hadn't shown up. Regardless, we need you to pick the two most incompetent people on campus security. I know the professor, and I know where his office is, but we need to make sure that there is absolutely no chance of us getting caught. All right. I know just the two. What part don't you understand? Sit here. Just sit, and if anyone enters the building, call me. That's the only two things you need to do. Okay, but shouldn't we like be walking around? It's not like crime just walks in the front door. You'd be surprised. But we're supposed to be like walking around the halls, you know? Like checking on things, you know? When have you ever come across anyone walking the halls? And I know for a fact that both of you just find a computer and sit on Facebook all night anyway. How'd you know? How did you know? I didn't. Just stay here and keep watching. If anyone comes through the building, call me. So they're going to stand watch? More or less. But if anybody comes through those front doors, they'll talk their ear off until they leave. Great. I have to say though, David, I'm impressed. So, here's our plan. Kelsey, you watch the back stairwell, and make sure we have an escape route, just in case. Why are you being all paranoid? No one is here. Phone's denied. Graham. You go down this hall, yell if anyone comes. David, come unlock the professor's door so I can get the test off his computer. And don't forget, if something should happen, we meet it with Janice in the parking lot. Nothing's going to happen. Wait, found these at the store yesterday. Oh, so cool. What the hell is this? Well, they ran out of black ones and I thought to myself, girls like pink, so I got this one for you. I'm not wearing this. It's absolutely idiotic and it's too small. It's a girl version. Besides, I only got four masks. If you're not gonna wear it, who is? So yeah, so he had a, he had a full on mermaid tattoo. And so it was like, you know, of course I gotta ask him out. We got it. Yeah? Yeah, so it turns out his buddy told him that you should get high before it happens so it'll hurt less, right? Yeah. So, so it turns out he was high when he picked out the tattoo. So hence, the mermaid, right? Oh my God. Like, it was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever seen. That's so stupid. <laughs> I know. Okay. Password, password, password. Ah, Marie Antoinette. And I'm in. How did you guess that? I am so smart. And he wrote it under password hint. Oh. We gotta go, we have company. Enhancing the file, removing pixelization. I can see it on the desktop, just email it to me. Fine, David. 
What the hell? Why aren't you guys wearing your burglar masks? We have to go, we have company. Fly, you fools, fly! Let's split up. Okay, you go right, I'll go left. Okay. to be a piece of cake. We did it. We got the test. We couldn't have done it without you. You were fantastic, Kelsey. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I meant to give this to you last week before David and Joe interrupted us. Whoa, my car is not a bedroom, you two. So what happens when someone succeeds in breaking the rules? Do you look the other way, turn the other cheek, or do you do whatever it takes to get what you want? Justice, swift and vengeful. Come in. Ah, Samuel, I've been expecting you, please. Have a seat. We have a problem, Mr. Gambino. The distribution ring I've been investigating made a bold move last night. What happened? At approximately 1.15 a.m., they broke into Todd Hall with intentions of stealing the answers to Dr. Heinemann's differential equations exam. They succeeded. How do you know it was them? I sent three of my operatives to do some recon work, and they spotted four students fleeing the building. However, they failed to get visual confirmation. However, we checked the vending machine records, and one of them purchased a soda on the third floor with their student card. David Oddy, sir. Great work, Samuel. Looks like we finally have all the proof we need. I'll alert the university. And you? You keep doing what you do best. With pleasure, sir. These kids have no idea what they've just gotten themselves into.